We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Time Not Travelers. On March the 1st, 2020, we left our home and jobs behind us as we boarded a one-way flight. A few short weeks later, the global pandemic brought the whole world to a stop and all our travels were canceled. Undeterred, we stayed put and continued our adventure exploring the country we were in, Estonia. Between us, we have visited 51 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. We're here on our first full day here in Salima. And we're exploring the old town of Kurisare, which is the main town on the island. And we're gonna go and see the medieval castle, which looks absolutely incredible. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave any comments below. And then ring the bell so you can see when we next load an adventure. Let's go and explore. Juniper. That smell? Like that would look so cool in the bathroom, wouldn't it? That's oak. Tell her. <laughs> just off the main high street here in Kodosale, there's these cute little markets. And we just got chatting to a lovely guy just on the end here called Juan and he found out how much Craig loves maps so we're just talking to him about how we're from England and he just insisted that we have this little gift which is so cute, it's a butter knife with the island of Sarima carved into it so sweet and he was saying how quiet it is this year and how business is slow and he just wouldn't let us give him any money for it it's just so kind make sure you head into these little markets if you come to Kodasale because they're still trying to keep going even though they've had a really quiet year this year and they're really super friendly and nice. What a lovely little place this is. We've had a lovely morning exploring Kurisare town. It's only a, a small little high street, but they've apparently spent the last three years 
renovating this high street area. They've done a great job. This is beautiful. And they put this fountain in behind us, which we were told a story about. Yeah, it changes colour. Someone drove along and tried to wash them into their car with it. So they had to put <laughs> things up to stop cars driving here. Yeah, um, which is great because there's benches and plants around and things like that. But yeah. that's apparently a bit of an infamous story that a guy <laughs> tried to wash the underneath of his car with the new fountain. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to go and get lunch in one of these places now and then continue on towards the castle after getting food. Yep, go grab some lunch. Lunch at Chameleon. It's just off the main square, but not right in the very center. So we're gonna grab ourselves some noodles here. <laughs> this restaurant Chameleon makes their own lemonades and I've just got a passion lemonade. Looks delicious. Really wanted something refreshing on a warm summer's day and that is perfect. Classic cappuccino here. <laughs> I did want a cold coffee but they didn't do them and I needed coffee so I'm a bit jealous of Craig's passion lemonade. It's good though you'll have caffeine yeah. to get you through the afternoon. I have some of your drink. Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> I really want that. Someone's oh. got FOMO. That's good. Oh, there's some warm. My chicken noodle oh, stir fry has arrived. Looks delightful. I've got vegetable stir fry, which is basically exactly the same, but they've switched up the chicken and mushrooms. <laughs> bon appetit. Pretty happy with my little one euro coffee and croissant. I just needed coffee. Craig, you can have the croissant. <laughs> Saw the sign saying coffee, yeah, croissant, one euro, and I couldn't believe it. It's small, but it'll do. Be happy with that bargain. Here in Kurisare, just in the town centre, there's a Kalev chocolate shop as well. Kalev is one of the main um, chocolates that are sold here in Estonia. Yeah, we always see the chocolate, so we're going to go check it out. Here you can see the monument for the inhabitants of Sarama who lost their lives in the War of Independence between 1918 and 1920. The figure you see is not the original, as the original was tossed into the sea by Soviet troops and was never found. A local sculptor from Sarama recreated it.
been a lovely morning exploring Kurosari town and we stopped and had lunch and now we're heading down to the castle. As exciting as the town is, I'm really excited to see the castle. Yeah, the castle looks absolutely glorious. Yeah, um, can't wait to see it in real life. Yeah, fantastic. So I'm going to head there now. Join us next time as we continue exploring the capital of Sarima and head over to the well-preserved 14th century castle and fortress of Kulisare. Just off the main high street in Sarima, in Kulisare. It tastes like a Ponce martini without the alcohol, it really does. Okay.